Right, hello everyone. Back to school again with this one, Sharon. Another dessert, what is it? Cornflake tart. Cornflake tart, I remember having that when I was a little kid. And I've not had it since I was a little kid, Sharon. And do you know what? I can't have it now because it's too sweet for me. I didn't have it when I was a kid. I didn't really want it. And I why don't... not then? It's like my sort of pudding. So why are we having it? Why are we cooking it? Because you've asked. Because you've asked. Again, a very, very simple one. We're cheating a little bit, folks, because we're using a ready-made sweet flan case. We bought two of these. We've done the, the egg custard tart, if you remember, in the last video. So that's what we're going to be using as the base. So let's have a quick look at all these ingredients. There's not a lot, really, is there? No. Nope. Here are the ingredients to our school dinner's cornflake tart. We used a pre-made sweet pastry case, 60 grams of unsalted butter, 130 grams of golden syrup, two tablespoons of brown sugar, a pinch of salt, some jam to line the bottom of the pastry case, 100 grams of cornflakes. Right, so nice and straightforward this folks. We had got uh, golden syrup this Sharon, in it? Yeah. So we're just putting that into a saucepan. Very sticky stuff to work with this Sharon, isn't it? Mm. And these rubber spatulas folks, these are ideal for getting stuff out of cases like this, aren't they Sharon? Again, we're using our Chinese cases when we have a Chinese takeaway Sharon. Always had to keep these, we've got a cupboard load of these, haven't we? Oh, I always keep them. You use them as well in your little cabin, don't you? Of course I do. And no, they're not the same ones. No, I don't use the same ones, yeah. <laughs> For somebody who say, oh, do you wash them out that? Of course you do, Shia. Someone's about to say it. So there's our butter. We use proper butter here. This is unsalted butter as well. Yeah, because we're going to be adding salt separately. Pinch of salt. And this is a uh, Himalayan pink salt, just a little drop in there. And you've got the uh, Demerara brown sugar, yep. Sharon. Just put that in there, and all we're going to do is take this over to our induction hob and literally just put it on. Not too high. Not too high. We don't want to burn this straight away. So these little induction hob folks, if you haven't got one, they are fantastic. They heat up in no time at all. So we're just going to bring this together until everything melts and it's all combined. I always remember, Sharon, when I was at school, like, oh, many, well, it'd be over 50 years ago, Sharon. And making toffee apples, you ever do that? Oh yeah, in yeah. In home economics, remember that? What he's called home, home Done economics. Done it with me mum as well. Yeah, and that smell I can smell coming up here mm. reminds me of that smell. And it looks very similar to this, and then you just dip the apples in it and let them stand on a tray, and uh, that was toffee apples. You don't see them anymore, really, do you? You do, not like you used to, but they were like chocolate-covered apples as well. Now, yeah, but they used they? to do them on, on Guy Fox night and yeah. things like that, wasn't it? But again, you don't really see them now. You don't see Guy Fawkes. You don't see Guy Fawkes now, no. It's Only all, for a guy. It's all Halloween, Sharon. Yeah. There you go, folks. That's probably about a minute, actually. And it's virtually there. Just a little bit more butter to go. And then that's all we need to do with that. Everything's now combined there. That sweet, salty liquid, Sharon. Yeah. Right, so that's it. Literally, that didn't take long whatsoever. That smell nice. So, Sharon, just put a cloth down. And yeah, if, if you could smell that, folks, it takes you right back to your childhood. That lovely, sweet, sticky smell, Sharon, isn't it? You're going to drop the cornflakes in for yep, me? Yeah, I've got the cornflakes here, Sharon. And literally, just whack them all in, folks. And all you're looking to do is literally just coat all them with that gooey goodness. And that, I love that crispy noise. It's like ASMR, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> that smell, honestly, folks, if you could smell that, that would take you right back to your school days, that would. Do you know what? What? My teeth are disintegrating now, looking well, at this. Well, I won't be eating it, so oh. uh, that is obviously a diabetic's delight, Sharon. So literally... I think we're all covered. That's it, that's all covered. Then so we'll all we've got to do now is prepare the, the, prepare the flan case, which is here, and uh, we're using a strawberry jam here. And I think when you was in school, Sharon, they used to do this as a tray bake, yeah. didn't they? So you we're not doing that, we're using that. This is a to... sweet um, pastry base here we got. You need strawberry or raspberry jam, whatever you've got in. Yep. So literally, just plonk it in the middle, and then just flatten it out and spread it out on the with the back of the spoon, folks. You want to get it into all corners. Right. Okay. So that's the old jam base in. Don't forget that is a cooked pastry flan. That one, folks. Well, this would be quite nice for Halloween, this, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah, for the kids, yeah. Yeah. So literally, all you're going to do is just tip that in there. Tip it in there, yeah. And literally. Pour it on top, folks. Spread it out. And if you do have any left over... Get your cupcakes out. Get your little cupcake holders out. Yeah, so the challenge is just going to spread that out on there. And then you're going to want this to set. Now you're going to put this in the oven now. You cook it? Yeah. 
Really? Yep. Only for about five minutes, this gets toasted. The cornflakes get a bit toasted. Well, I never knew they are toasted, didn't they? I suppose now they're a bit soggy, aren't they? Yeah, so now we've we... got a little bit there for a cupcake. Yeah, we're going to just make a couple of little cupcakes. We've got some cupcake holders with them, folks. So, again, this will depend on the size of the flan you've got. So we have got... You've got a spoon there? A cup... I did give you a spoon. No, you didn't. I did when you dished out the um, jam, didn't I? Oh, you've been used it. Oh, you're lucky I ain't doing the washing up, innit? So that's ready to go now. I'm just going to use that little bit of leftover stuff there. And just make... A couple of uh, small tarts, baby. I've just had a taste of one, Sharon. Mm. And they taste of crunchy nut cornflakes. Don't they? Don't know, I've not had any. Yeah. They taste of crunchy nut cornflakes, folks. Well, I suppose they've got honey on, haven't they, crunchy nut cornflakes? Yeah, well, it's a very similar thing, isn't it? So there, that's probably going to be quite tasty, actually. These are literally just the cornflakes in them, folks. We've got the jam and obviously the pastry base underneath I'll get that. I want that in water. I don't want that going. So we're going to put that in the air fryer now. We're going to use the um, Kasori 12 litre. And as you can see, it's on at the moment. We've got it warming up first of all. It's on right, the pre-setting. Let's, let's get the tray out ready. We love this little thing, don't we? So Sharon's just placing it on the um, tray. And we're going to just put it in there now. It's warm enough now. So let me open the door for you. It's only literally having five minutes. Yep. Don't forget, these go in only one way, folks. If you try and put it in the other way, it won't fit in the drawers. Well, I've got that other one in on the top of them two Yeah, get ones. the little two on the top, Sharon. I hope they're not going to be too near the paper. No, the they'll top. be all right. Is it paper, them, or what? Or they're paper. Yeah, these are paper. We have got silicone ones of these as well, folks. So uh, we'll just put them in there like that. Just shut the See? door. How good is that? Two things And if you on. don't want to worry about the pre, to turn the preheating off or to carry on cooking, just press the uh, on button again and that will just carry on cooking as well. Let's just put the light on so you can see in there. We've got them in there now. That's it. Lovely. So while Sharon cleans up, and we'll come back in five minutes time and, well, Sharon can give them a little taste. There we go, folks. That's literally five minutes. That's all that's been in for. Let's take them out. Let's get that big tray out first. Oh yeah, they nice little golden on brown, little golden brown topping they got there, folks. Look at that, look. Well, they just need to set a yeah, little bit. Yeah, just, just leave it to set now. And here's our main one. Be careful, baby, that's hot. So that's it, that's them both out now. So we're going to let them cool off now, look at that, look. It smells good though, doesn't School it? dinner. The ones on top, as you can see, folks, have gone slightly darker. So if you wanted the main one to go darker, you could have put that one on top. So mm. it's entirely your choice. Just to show you there is a difference by putting them on the different trays. Right, we're going to let them cool off, shall we? We'll cut into them and come back to these sure. lovely people when we're ready to try them out. Right, okay, folks. These are nice and cool now. And they've actually set. I'll show you how I know that because these ones here, when I pushed that earlier on, you can feel how hard they are now, look. So they've actually set really nice and hard now. So we get a sharp knife, shall we? Is it one in here? You got one there? Should be in there. Just have a normal knife. Oh, that'll do, before. yeah. What we'll used before. Right, okay, folks. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slip down here because these are very hard to get out of sometimes, these pastry cases. And I'm just going to do a little slice because Sharon's uh, going to be tasting this on her own. On her own. So that's what I've done there. Look, just pull that down. It makes it so much easier in cutting them, folks. So let's just go in and, oh, look at that, bloody hell. Let's cut through that. I can see it's all sort of caramelized, Sharon. Oh, look at that, look. Oh, better get your plate. Look at that. Oh, that's gonna be sweet. That's gonna be like a toffee apple, Sharon. Let's put that down there. Let's take a closer look at it. I'm getting down further and further, Sharon. <laughs> Not a very good camera woman, baby. Look, I'm right down here, look. Let's have a closer look at it. <laughs> right, my little princess, you take hold of the plate. No, it's not hot, you can pick it up, Sharon. Yeah, you don't need the fork, love. It'll, no. fall, it'll fall apart if you do that. Just pick it up gently, come on. It's all fall apart if you do that, I know. Well, do what you want, baby. You, well, look. You do what you want. <laughs> I can see strawberry jam, I can see st sticky, like sticky, beaten coffee toffee. Go on. Now, I know it's going to be sweet. Mm. 
You're not a child anymore. You've got, you got what you call a mature palate now, baby. I can hear you crunching. It's very crunchy, isn't it? Mm, very nice. It is nice. It is nice. You couldn't eat a lot of it. Is it taking you back to school days, baby? But they'd put custard on it, wouldn't they? Oh, you'd have it with custard or you'd have it with pink blancmange or something like that. But we're just going for the raw ingredients. They can put what they want on it, Sharon. When they, if they make it, the people, and uh, they can obviously like do their own thing. And it'll take them back to school days, like the smell did with me. Yeah, it's nice. But I couldn't eat a lot of that, all I say. Well, I will taste one, but I won't taste that because of all the pastry and jam and everything. I will taste a little bit of this, Sharon, just to try it. God, it's like, it's like a, look at that, look. I don't know what it's like. Oh, it's like them crispy marshmallows. Now, I like them. That smell, honestly, that is when you, that is, I'll tell you what, you've had a home economics lesson at school, Sharon. Mm. You've made them in school and you're bringing them home. You eat them on the bus on the way And you eat them in the bus on the way home, <laughs> Sharon. That's what that is. That's like a toffee. That's well good. That's turned into a toffee, that. Let's have a little go, look. I'm not going to eat a lot of this, folks. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, that that cooking it, Sharon, for that five minutes and getting that brown crispy on top, it reminds me of something. No, you know, brittle. You no. Know, you know the popcorn with the thick toffee caramel on it? No, oh, I love toffee popcorn. Toffee popcorn. That's what that reminds me of. So if you're a fan of toffee popcorn, folks, that's what that reminds me of. And we did cheat a little bit because you remember when it came out of the oven, when we took it all out and those ones were darker, you might have noticed that this one is darker. I said to Shan, we'll put it back in for a couple it of minutes. It's nicer darker, I thought. And it makes that so much more adult flavour, Sharon. Mm. So you've got to try that, folks. Even if you only make it once, you won't want this every week, believe me. It's like a, oh, no. it's like a school treat, a reminder. Guy Fox is coming up and Halloween and stuff like that. Good for them. Make one of them. It's only cheap to do. The ingredients, again, are very, very cheap. And... Um, it will take you back to the 1970s and the 1980s if you're old enough and probably even the 1960s, Sharon. I don't want no more. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. Hope you've enjoyed that little quick one. Don't forget to have a little binge watch of our videos and also hit that subscribe button. It's naughty, but nice. What, me or that? that that's very naughty, but nice. And that's nice. a lovely tart, Sharon. The kitchen's full of tart, Sharon. It is, isn't it? Thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. Bye.